As we load data for analytics, it's important to understand the distinction between incremental and full loads. These are two methods for loading data. So with full loads, all data is reloaded, it's wiped and then brought back, maybe daily. And then incremental is when only changes are loaded, like whatever has changed since the previous load, maybe it was like a day ago. Those could be additions, updates, or perhaps deletes. So here's maybe a simple way to illustrate this using a music playlist. So let's say you create a music playlist and then the next day you incrementally update it by just adding new songs or additional songs you want on or removing the ones you no longer need. You're incrementally updating it each day. Now with a full load, what you'd be doing is each day dumping the playlist and starting from scratch, even if some of the songs are the same. Now let's think about this in a traditional table like if we're tracking sales over time. So let's say we've got sales on the first day, we load that in, and then day two, when we get new sales, we just load in those ones. And then the same thing with day three, we're not reloading the entire table each day. With full loads, that's what we're doing. So we've got day one sales we're loading in on day one, and then on day two, we're dumping the table and then loading day one and day two together. And in day three, we're loading all three days. We're reloading this entire table. Now, incremental updates could include additions, new things, updates, things that have changed, or deletions. Deletions are a little bit more tricky, but they can be managed by a flag that marks records as deleted. We call this a logical delete. Also, as we consider when to use incremental loads and full loads, a few things to keep in mind are that incremental loads are more efficient for large growing data sets. It's hard to reload an entire data set, a large one, every day. Also, incremental loads, though, require mechanisms to ensure integrity across the loads to make sure we aren't reloading the same data the next day. And finally, full loads, if they're large data sources, can tax the sources on the other end, which may impact their performance. Now also, one thing to keep in mind is that we could be processing data in batch, like maybe every day, or streaming in more real time. With batch processing, we could use full or incremental, but the stream processing, that's typically incremental because it's happening in real time. We couldn't in real time typically always reload the entire data set in many cases. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, click the subscribe button. And if you're interested in a SQL cheat sheet, you can find one over at codybaldwin.com.